we're here for this launch of a new public-private partnership because the first one was so incredibly successful, focused as Lads for Life in five countries, including Uganda, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Kenya, and India. And it's my pleasure right now to introduce Ambassador Eric Gooseby. Really want to thank everybody here today for helping us really celebrate the launch of really this important um, next phase of our partnership with um, BD. The BD PEPFAR Laboratory Strengthening Partnership was the first public-private partnership supported by the United States government that has taken a comprehensive, integrated approach to laboratory system strengthening in multiple African countries. The second phase of this partnership, Labs for Life, will invest up to $20 million and leverage lessons learned during the first phase to promote the vision of an AIDS-free generation by strengthening laboratory systems. Our business starts with one very simple but powerful idea, that above all, our work is helping all people live healthy lives. And that's what our global health in, uh, initiative is about. It's a business model for creating long-term health solutions that fortify overburdened and under-resourced healthcare systems, improving the quality of healthcare around the globe. We'd like to take this opportunity for you to sign the new agreement oh, between the partnership. Okay. All right. okay. Often people focus on the public-private partnership for the value for money. To me, it's much greater than that. It is the people that the companies bring to the partnership. It's the people who we have access to that have strong values in laboratory systems development. We're proud at CDC that, uh, this, we've, that we have this collaboration between our field staff, ministries of health, and public-private partnerships like with BD that really provides a model of integrated technology, training, uh, and infrastructure development in sub-Saharan Africa. Thanks to Vince Forlanza, to uh, Gary Cohen, uh, Renuka Gade, um, uh, and to all of the BD employees who are uh, involved in this venture. We are confident that this strengthening of the laboratory systems will better support that effort and move, continue to move uh, the continent of sub-Saharan Africa into, I think, a higher quality um, delivery of medical care and services.